antenna. And it had a... Uh, hey, radio enthusiast, uh, shortwave radio enthusiast, and anyone who might be uh, watching this video, I, I just wanted to do a uh, quick update on my Kenwood uh, R2000. Uh, I have found out a few things and tried a few things, and the more I listen to this radio, the more I enjoy it and absolutely love it. Um, one of the things that piqued my interest, and I had to do uh, quite a bit of research on this, was this control right down here. Let's see if I can show it to you. Here it is. Oh, let's see if we can focus. R I T. And I think that stands for like radio incremental tuning or receiver in receiving incremental tuning. It really isn't. Um, but I'll tell you what it is, and that is a modification, uh, by all accounts, done at Universal Radio in Ohio. And um, basically what they did was they changed the tone control, um, used the pot that was in there, disabled the tone control, and set it at the middle or default setting. And... Uh, Changed some diodes in there and uh, wired a few things up. And this is a very useful feature, a uh, very useful modification. And what it does is it allows you to tune your beat frequency oscillator. Um, we'll take it for a spin and uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so tuning some uh, single sideband here on 80 meters. And you can hear, sounds like it's a little bit off. So what we're going to do, we're going to adjust our RIT tuning. There he is. Someone's got a carrier over this guy. You can hear it Hector down in there, but there he is. Okay, so we basically tuned the beat frequency oscillator. Um, now. I, I did some research on this, and the theory behind it is that the um, tuning on the R2000 is a little coarse for tuning in single sideband unless they're on um, a precise frequency. But if they're off, your sound is going to be off. And, and I noticed this and until I figured out what this control did. Um, it, it definitely was off, so um, really, really happy to have this uh, modification. Um, I believe there's instructions on the internet on, on how to do it, but the uh, control right here, as you can see, uh, apparently Universal Radio put some kind of label on top of the tone control. And I uh, added these graphics right here, and you can see the grays a little bit different than the gray of the panel, but they did a nice job, and it makes that control stand out. Let's see if we can tune it again. It works like a charm. It works like an absolute charm. So next up, we're going to show you... Uh, what I've done for external audio and uh, some digital sound field processing. All right. I couldn't resist. I had to have some external audio. Um, this is my external speaker that I uh, use for my ICOM R71A, which I'm sure I'll feature in a future video. But this is a ICOM IC SP3. It has a uh, mono uh, mini line in which works out perfectly because it's looped through this guy. And what that is, is a Radio Shack digital sound processor. I think the model is DSP-40. 
but we can see on top here radio machine. So kind of nice to have. I, I bought this when I was a kid years ago. Uh, used it on the ICOM. Really great for digging out single side band and working as a notch filter. Guys, I know it's not the best DSP, but I think I paid 40 bucks for that thing on special uh, on clearance. Um, so I didn't get ripped off. And uh, for what this thing is, it works so darn well. You've got um, noise reduction for AM, single sideband, and CW. Those are your filters. And then your bandwidth is wide, medium, and narrow. Real simple. You can turn the DSP on or off. Okay, it sounds like someone is uh, screwing around there on 80 meters, but um, that's the DSP. Um, has a headphone jack. Also has a uh, amplified speaker on the top. I might bring the this external speaker back uh, to use on the Icon because the stock audio on the Icon uh, really is terrible. Um, you know, whatever roll-off design they used, it's um, just not a good sound. But this external speaker makes it sound a lot nicer. Um, I actually put some baffling in there. I remember when I was a kid, um, I sealed it up and uh, gave it some acoustic, uh, um, I guess you'd call it almost like padding or uh, acoustic uh, foam. But for now, I couldn't be happier. Um, this is a fun, fun radio. I, I probably wouldn't describe it um, as a DX machine like the uh, ICOM R71A is. But this is a nice, nice listening radio. It's got beautiful sound. It's just a fun, fun radio to tune. And for a digital radio, it's got a lot of charm. Um, you know, the memories, I've got them all programmed. I've got the clocks all programmed. I think I showed you in the last video. But your tuning is pretty old school. Even though it's done digitally, it's done from your mom. Um, and, and your band up or down. Um, so it kind of has an analog feel, even though it's a digital radio. Um, just loving listening to this unit. Um, I think I'm going to be listening to it for many hours to come. And oh, by the way, I, I did also add a, uh, a, a ground wire as well. So we've got a 75 foot uh, long wire and we've got a proper uh, earth ground. So um, she's running great. And um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, Happy tuning.